So this time we're just going to add those big classic spinners. So I've taken two cylinders and thrown them a, a chamfer on the end of them and exported them, which I'm going to bring in. Um, and in terms of your settings, by default it should be fine. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to hit import on that. Um, my scale is way off. So I'm just going to actually set my scale up to 100. Why not? Let's have a look at that. Um, yeah, that seems like a good scale. I'm actually going to delete that and just make an object, an actor out of this. So I could reuse it if I want to. And the way to do that is in your folder. I'm going to go to my BP folder, create a new right click, new blueprint pass. I'm called actor and I'll call it spinner. Let's go BP. And I'm just going to open that up and I can drag and drop my mesh inside it. So once that window opens up, you can drag and drop your mesh in. Um, I just checked my scale. It's going to need to be 100. Um, and then quite simply with this one, which should be quite nice, is we can go ahead and have a, a rotating movement. So I'm not actually sure which axis it's going to want to rotate on. I can tell you it's it will be this one. So we can see on the right hand side of the rotating movement slide. So we've got this rotation rate, which is currently at 100. So I'm going to go to my BPs, drag and drop this in. Um, I'm going to need to lift up the sky and hit simulate. Oh, that is way too fast. But we get the idea, so I'm just going to half that and see what that looks like. I'm also going to just add a cube. Oops, I renamed it Wii by accident. That's fine, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to scale it up. So this is so just going to be like a blog that looks like it's on this. Um, yeah, let's see how that looks. Cool, looks a bit better. Oh no, I didn't get my my rotation slightly off. When I made it in Blender and I duplicated my shape, I didn't rotate it from the exact middle, I think, by a little bit, because it looks like it's sort of moving on the spot. Um, which is fine, which is fine. Obviously, if you don't want your cube spinning in the middle, um, there are other ways to sort of go about this. So let's just put these so it looks like they're a bit separate. Like that. And what we'll do is, because they're not connected, instead I'm just going to delete my rotating movement. And on my soft cross, what we'll do is we'll get reference to our soft cross. Add rotation, um, and I think it was just on our Z, so I'm going to right click this and say split. And what I'm going to do is off delta seconds, I'm just going to do a times, and we'll just do a float by float. Should we see what 45 looks like? And let's go ahead and hit simulate. And it didn't do anything. Oh, because obviously, John, we need to wire it up. Cool, 45 seems like an all right speed. And you can see the bottom thing isn't rotating now. And we have a thingy. Let's actually see if I can run past it. It breaks the camera when it enters. Alright, so this has got dodgy collision bounds on it. Let's quickly fix that. Um, um, I don't know that one. Let's quickly fix its 
dodgy collision by opening up the static mesh and scrolling down and where it says collision complexity we'll say complex is simple okay that should be fine let's get a view let's actually just put one of you to start okay that's set out the dodgy collision but what we're going to want to do is also set it so when it hits us we ragdoll so if you've already seen the previous video um we have some ragdoll in here um so what we'll do is we'll just set up a, a custom event actually for this and we'll call it we'll just say custom add custom event uh, hit. We'll just call it hit for now. I'm just gonna, all we're doing is we're going to take you and you um, hit compile on that. Go back to our spinner. Um, if you want to change what it looks like, you can change the material. I've not got any material, so I'm just going to leave it as green. Um, I'm actually going to take both of you and lift you up a bit more. And you know what, in fact, I'm not going to find it, it's it, that'll do. Um, and when we, on our soft cross, when we begin overlap, we'll just do it off here, with third person character, we will call, what do we call that event? Hit, we call it hit. Call function hit. Okay, that didn't work. Let's just get our soft cross. Um, and we'll just do the generate hit events, make sure we're getting hit events. On actor hit, let's just take you guys, bring you down here. Alt click, alt click. Pew pew. Ugh. There we go. Quick tip if you ever want to snap something to the ground, you just hold press end on your keyboard. And that'll do it.